My name is John Belkowitz, Dr. John Belkowitz from Intelligent Concrete, and we're here to talk to you today about cornstarch. So, uh, Sammy and I did a project months ago, my son and I, on sugar and concrete. Um, great video. Haley will post a link. Ding, ding! All over the place. Will you? Or am I just saying that? She will. Awesome. Haley, oh. Haley and Brooke give the most aggressive high fives. It's just like, dude, calm it down. They hurt. That's what high fives are all about. Ah, yes. dude, that hurt just hearing it. So rewarding. So we did a project, and from that project we got a question. Ding! Who did the question? We don't know. We don't know. Thank you for the question. Ding! What was the question? How does cornstarch affect concrete? How, I don't like using the word, the word effect. Impact. I don't like effect. I never really understood. I spent a, too much of my PhD looking up the word affect and effect, trying to understand the difference, and people have explained it to me, but I think the true translation was lost throughout time. So effect, impact. affect, pff, impact. How does corn, ding! <laughs> Thank you, we don't remember your name. Um, how does cornstarch impact concrete? It acts as a viscosity modifying agent. And when I say that, I often need to define the word viscosity to truly understand what it means. And Brooke, let me get that definition. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know exactly. Haley? Viscosity. The, the flowability of That's a good way. No, it's whenever you put pressure on something and how the force it applies back. <laughs> the resistance of fluids' ability to resist lateral shear. So kind of. No. I was going to say that, actually. I know you were. I know you were going to say that. You should listen to Brooke more often. You really should. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Um, so when we have a higher viscosity, we have a higher resistance to lateral shear. So peanut butter has a higher resistance to lateral shear than water. If you were listening, lateral shear. Hey, lateral shear. If you were listening, Haley was right in her second definition. So high five. Nice high five. Aw, thanks. So um, when we use a viscosity modifying agent, we can either create something that has a lower viscosity, or concrete that has a lower viscosity by adding that additive, or concrete that has a higher viscosity, or higher resistance to lateral shear by using cornstarch we effectively increase the fluid or the concrete's ability to resist lateral shear. So, as we had said in the earlier version, Brooke, yeah. if you have some heavy stones in your very fluid concrete, the stones, if they are very heavy, will migrate to the bottom of your very fluid mix. But if you use cornstarch in that same very fluid mix, when you take the mixing energy away from that mix, those heavy stones will get stuck in the suspension, almost like a fast gelling or a false set. When you put energy back into it, those stones will migrate to the bottom again. Did I say that a lot better? You did. Awesome. We had to do this the second time because some of us were using naughty language. All right, anyway, so hopefully you learned something today. Thanks for your question. I don't remember your name. You're awesome. Go concrete!